By combining all the sounds, you're basically using all the possible combinations of intervals in the images here. And that's what you do. Then you go into the intervals one by one. You will know what steps they're on and their, their relation. Then the triads, the seven chords, and the ninth chords. And this is my introduction, and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah. if I can ask you a question. I just want to tell you something. Uh, you, I can see that you all love music and learning how to play uh, brass and woodwinds is not the easiest thing as a young person. You have to have a lot of dedication and of course you have to have a great teacher. Uh, I can tell you one thing. Uh, I travel across the country and in many countries I presented my workshops. I have to tell you that uh, one of the things that saddens me is when certain teachers or certain schools make it sound very complicated, and it's not very complicated. Things in music are extremely, extremely simple and intuitive. So my goal is to show that anyone can do this if they have a little patience and dedication, but it is a process of putting little pieces of information together, and there's no reason why students should not be able to say, but why is it like this? And a teacher has to be able to give the right answer. And sometimes you say, no, no, it's just like this, just do it like this, you know. It's the way it's supposed to. To me, that's not a legitimate answer, unless you're in a rush and it's not the right time. But everything in music can be explained. Who knows what I did now? What is that? Can you describe? What's the word for this? It starts with a C, ends with an E.